Hello. Solving trigonometric problems needs good knowledge of cost rule. It's not a rule as such, but it's like an acronym to remember a few things. And let's try to understand what it is. Without this, you can't really work. Now here is the description on cost rule. It simply means that you write from quadrant 4, C A S T cost. Now it shows in which quadrant what is positive. That is what it shows, right? And it starts with quadrant 4. You know the quadrants? This is quadrant number 1, this is quadrant number 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. So the cost rule says that all are positive in quadrant 1 sine, cos, tan, and their reciprocals. Now, in quadrant 2, only sine is positive. So sine, that means sine and its reciprocal. So let's consider only the main trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, okay? So A means all, all means sine, cosine, and tangent. And of course, when they are positive, their reciprocals will be positive, so we will not repeat that part. In quadrant 2, sine is positive but cosine and tangent are negative in quadrant 2 in quadrant 3 only tangent is positive sine and cosine are negative and in quadrant 4 only cosine is positive and sine and tangent are negative so if I say my sine theta is equals to minus 0 0.25 it means that theta could be an angle in quadrant 3 or 4 because these are the two quadrants in which sine is negative and in these quadrants sine is positive if I say cos theta equals to minus 1 over 2 it means that theta lies in which quadrant Theta is negative in these two quadrants. So it could be in these two, not in these two. In these two, cosine is positive. If I say tan equals to minus square root 3, that means tan of theta, okay? Tan of theta. That means theta angle is in which quadrant? It could be in quadrant 4 or in 2, but not in 3 and 1. Do you understand? That's what it means. So it helps you find the quadrants in which the angle should lie given the sign of the trigonometric function, right? So you'll also observe that if I say sign is positive some value, then within 0 to 360 degrees, I should expect at least two answers, right? It could be positive in here or there, correct? So you should look for two answers. So that is kind of a must. Let's try to understand why is it so that in this quadrant cosine is positive and in that sine is positive okay that reminds me let's go back to our standard triangle the right angle triangle right in this triangle we have this opposite side this adjacent side and that's our hypotenuse okay hypotenuse or this kind of a radius of a circle is considered always positive so don't consider it as just hypotenuse consider it uh, when it when you move right then you form a circle right radius is a distance correct right? which is always positive so we consider that radius to be h and we consider that to be always positive so this is always positive whether it is in this quadrant that quadrant or anyway the only thing negative could be the coordinates values that is x and y values do you understand so x values or y values could be negative if we consider these two quadrants then you will see that here always x is negative right so if i have to make a triangle here any triangle correct my x value because this is like negative right negative infinity is going to right and here x is going to positive infinity correct so, 
here always x is negative now if x is negative and this is always positive then in these two quadrants cosine should be negative because what is cosine cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse basically x over hypotenuse do you see that cosine is x over hypotenuse if x and y are the coordinates correct well, let me write that on the side so that you understand what is cosine so we say cos of angle theta is equals to x over hypotenuse and sine of angle theta is y over hypotenuse and tan of angle theta is the ratio of y and x is it okay now that's how it is now let's start with cos x is negative where next here that means both the coordinates right cos should be negative perfect here everything is positive here x is positive and y is also positive right this is going to positive infinity y so in this quadrant since x and y everything is positive so sine cosine and tangent are all positive but as we move from quadrant 1 to 2 x becomes negative and it affects two things x becomes negative so cos becomes negative and x becomes negative tangent becomes negative sine theta does not have to deal with x so it remains positive so here only sine is positive as we move from quadrant 2 to 3 two things happen x is negative y also becomes negative both x and y becomes negative now if x is negative cos is negative if y is negative sine is negative but if both are negative the negative negative cancel out tan remains positive so that's the reason why tan is positive in quadrant 3. But as we move to quadrant 4, then we see that x is positive, but y is negative. Since x is positive, cosine is positive. Do you see cos rule? If x is positive, but y is negative, sine is negative. Now y is negative will affect both sine and tangent, right? So both are negative in quadrant 4. Do you, do you understand the cos rule now? Now wherever, if I say find the value of theta given sine theta is negative then the best way is find the acute angle where theta is 0.25 and then figure out negative means sine should be in these two quadrants so you can direct 0.25 from 180 and 0.25 from 360 to get your theta correct that's the way to solve it if i say tan is negative then you know your theta the angle should lie either in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 4 correct and as you can appreciate if sine is negative its reciprocal will also be negative that means cosine will be negative if cos is negative then secant of theta will also be negative and if tan theta is negative then cotangent will also be negative okay right so remember the cos rule it helps us to understand given a value of theta what is expected value of our trigonometric function for example if i say theta is 300 degrees so 300 degrees means you are in quadrant 4 so only cosine will be positive there sine and tangent will be negative do you agree with me that's how it is okay i hope you remember that and it helps you to solve problems thank you